Hey everyone, it's your buddy Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be talking about my build. So a lot of people talking about, do you want light, medium armor, do you want, uh, what attributes, attributes do you want to start with? What kind of build is your favorite bow rapier or fire staff rapier? We're going to talk about my build today in New World. So, let's start off real quick guys, jumping through a few things. This is my current attributes, and you can see here that I'm fully taking advantage of these different marks. So at 200, I got the 10% bonus backstab and headshot damage. At 100 constitution, I got that increased max health by 10% of your physical armor. So we're going to talk about gems. We're going to talk about it all on this ultimate guide on really, like I said, one of the strongest builds or strongest builds, uh, really both of these builds being that strong in the game of New World. So let's jump right into it. So if we jump into the first thing, we can see that rapier is the main weapon, right? You use rapier for bow, use it for fire staff. If we take a look right now, I'm going the full gray side. I'm level 19 of 20 right now. Full gray side, I'm taking advantage of everything on this gray side. You have to play this really weapon very, very well to be insanely good with it. Um, you know, there's always room for improvement. The cool thing with evade is you can dodge pretty much anything, any attack. You just go really untargetable for that uh, you know 0.5 seconds or whatever it is and uh, you have insane cooldown reduction with this build as well you're gonna have in which does more damage we're not gonna go too far into the rapier but this is where the uh, exact build I, I go with the rapier the also if we go to the bow this is the exact build I'm going so far on the bow and uh, this is 18 of 20 points the next thing we're gonna take a look at is the fire staff we're just gonna kind of walk you guys through some of the basics um, you know if you want to see a little bit more in detail I have shown you guys some build guides strongest build guide in the past has actually gone through all of the skills but today we're going to focus on light medium armor what you should be doing with the gems and all of that as well so with the fire mage you're going to want pillar of fire pillar of fire is a very very strong ability you can actually see you know as you continue to buff it up it's going to do even more damage we're going to skip out on meteor shower it's very very weak right now we're going to go over to fireball we're going to take fireball we're going to take both of these abilities then we're going to take burnout and we're going to take both of these abilities as well so burnout goes 50 percent farther definitely very very important and from there, you're going to definitely want the burning last 20% longer on the Pyromancer side. Those are the main things to really keep in mind. But you also want the Spell Slinger. So your abilities gain an extra 15% chance to critical. And Heavy Attacks no longer consume mana is always a nice one to get as well for PvE at the very least. Um, just so you don't run out of mana. But you're not going to run out of mana too quickly with this build just because you do have that Rapier to fall back on. But that's going to be the build for the Fire Staff. Right now, I have not specced any Fire Staff. I played it so much in the past that I wanted to start with the bow and then switch over to the Fire Staff. If you guys have been watching the stream, I've talked about it uh, quite a bit in the last couple of days, how big you know the Fire Staff and Rapier build is going to be here in just a little bit when I get started with that. But that's going to be kind of the build. We're going to focus on those things, right? And now I do want to jump into one of the bigger things is the attributes. So when you're starting this game out, you want to go 50 and 50. So... 50, 50 dex if, if that's your primary. By the way, if, you, if you're playing Rapier Bow, you're going to want dex in Constitution. If you're playing Rapier Fire Staff, you're going to want intelligence in Constitution. So if we're playing Rapier Bow, we're going to go on 50 dex and 50 Constitution. Once we have both at 50, then you just start stacking dexterity to about 150. You can get Constitution to 100, and then stack your dexterity to 200. You can see this 200, 100 is a perfect thing to do. I do think I'm going to hit... Um, not even 150 because I don't love that minus 10% crit damage taken. It's not huge. The only next thing I really need is that 20% armor at 200. It's not huge, but that that 250 is absolutely massive. So that's something we'll try way later in the game if we get some good gear. But the biggest thing is getting this dexterity to that 300 mark, guaranteeing critical a hit after a dodge roll. Can only trigger once every 10 seconds, but it's very, very, very strong. Also, you have the 10% bonus critical damage on stunned or slowed or rooted enemies, which works so well with our post getting that back step. I do want to come, jump kind of into uh, another thing here, though, because obviously we went over the attributes a little bit. And the same thing, by the way, with the dexterity applies with intelligence. You're just going to want to get to 50-50 on intelligence constitution. And then if you're, like I said, running that rapier, fire staff, or even rapier ice gauntlet, this works too. You're going to want to scale up your intelligence about double when you get to that 200-100. You're going to be in a good spot. I do want to jump through the different kinds of gems. So let's go over to the trading market, or even my, I think my inventory does have some. Um, but on our way, we actually have one to look at right now, and that's going to be the Opal. So you can see here, I do have the Opal, and it does 9% damage when your stamina is not full, which is going to be very, very strong, because you're pretty much never going to be full stamina. And by the way, I, you are seeing medium armor right now. We'll talk about that here in just a second. But uh, I don't know if I have all of the gems I want to kind of show you in my inventory. 
but Opal is going to be the big one because you're going to take that with your full dex build for sure because you're going to do more damage when you're, uh, you know, like I said, below max stamina. That's going to be huge because you're always going to be below max stamina. If you're going the Rapier Fire, or sorry, the Rapier and Fire Staff build or the Rapier Ice Gauntlet build, you're going to want to stick to the Rapier getting uh, some kind of intelligence gem, right? So you're going to want uh, something that scales with that intelligence and the Sapphire is the one that I always pick. I like the Sapphire in my Rapier, socketed obviously. And then the next thing you're going to want on the Fire Staff, you can go uh, Opal yet again. Opal's a good choice for kind of that consistent damage. But if you're looking for something a little bit crazier, you can go uh, You can go for an Onyx. An Onyx will do damage um, based on if they're at 100% health, right, and you hit them with the, with the spell, it'll actually do like 30% bonus damage, obviously depending on the tier of op or sorry of the tier of the Onyx you get. But you can see how that would be very, very strong to start off the fight very, very you know powerfully. I do want to jump back, though, and talk a little bit more about uh, just a few things regarding the weight. So if we actually go to tab, we can see that I'm at 22.9 on the medium armor right now. That's going to be something is very, very important because, you know, the light roll, a lot of people love it. But the light, if you go down to light, you're missing out on so much physical and elemental resistance. And uh, you're going to have a really hard time in some dungeons. You're going to have a really hard time in PvP. Medium is that perfect spot right now for me personally. I think this is definitely the way to go. Getting to 22.9 uh, out of 50 is going to put you at the maximum medium weight you can be. If you take a look here, you go medium head. I usually say heavy head, heavy chest, uh, medium gloves, light pants, and medium food or, or medium boots. But uh, here I'm actually going the medium, heavy, medium, light, and heavy, and that's putting me exactly at 22.9. At 23, you go over the threshold and you're in heavy. So make sure to stay around that 22.9 as high as you can without going over that 23 mark. I also want to say, if you're going light, you can definitely do it. Go to 12.9. You can actually go everything's light besides your medium chest, and that's going to give you the best uh, really light armor you can get. And that's for some open world. If you're looking for 1v1s, just kind of some fun, some movement. If you're before level about 20, 25, you know, you just want to get around places to place very, very quickly. Light armor is not a bad option. Um, you know, the main thing, like I said, for the most part, medium is going to be what I use. Uh, and that's going to be pretty much all the scenarios that I wanted to talk about. If you guys have any questions, comments, let me know on the Twitch stream or, uh, you know, YouTube stream. I am trying to help you guys out with this build because these are such fun builds. The fire staff and the uh, rapier and uh, obviously the fires are sorry, the bow and the rapier as well both both they're both very very fun strong builds so like i said if you haven't checked me out on youtube or twitch make sure to follow on both of them and subscribe to the channel if you're on youtube right now i appreciate it guys thanks for everything like the video i'll see you guys all in eternum